In May, dozens of high school students stood with nervous excitement in a locker-brimmed hallway, each waiting their turn to walk into the audience full auditorium. It's graduation day for Galena Interior Learning Academy. The school's vocational training courses and cultural offerings attract some 200 students annually from across Alaska. Students here can take classes on sustainable energy, aviation, carpentry, and much more. But in order to keep it running, especially during long cold winters, it needs heat. That's where the biomass project comes in. Every winter since 2016, trees are locally harvested and shredded into wood chips that feed a large boiler plant on campus, offsetting about 100,000 gallons of diesel annually for the school district and the city. As high schoolers that are about to get into the real world and be consumers and just wanting to live their life, money talks. And then on top of that, you just kind of circle it all back around to the fact that you then could get a job working on maintaining, repairing, building these projects. And now you're saving your community money, you're saving yourself money on your bills, but you're also now making really good money. So it, it's, it's this total big flip that can arise because of some of these, these projects that are popping up. Galena burns just under 400,000 gallons of diesel annually to produce electricity. And an energy price hike around 2008 helped the village realize something needed to change. Scott and remembered when a gallon of diesel was $1.64, then skyrocketed to $4.58 another year. At that wholesale price, the city was paying more than $1.8 million to keep the lights on. That's when they started looking for grants to build a solar array. On an overcast May day, workers in reflective safety vests slotted rectangular panels on a metal grid. They were working on the nearly completed 1.5 megawatt solar farm that will connect to a battery system. Once in use, the community will be able to turn off its diesel engines and run on 100% clean renewable energy on sunny summer days. And any excess power will be battery stored for nights, emergencies, or heating the local indoor pool. For ICT, Daniel Herrera Carbajal.